Hi, I got a, a requirement from uh, my team uh, to kind of uh, fix this data set, which means uh, if you can see uh, this second record is duplicated, right? So this customer 101, which is Amit, is duplicated. So ideally there are three customers, but uh, it's showing as four. So uh, I did a mistake. Uh, let me share that experience. Uh, so in order to fix this, I see that the uh, the ID is 101. So I thought, to, okay, let me select this, uh, go to remove duplicates. And it says that you found data next to your selection because you have not selected, it will not be removed. I did not read this and I clicked on this one and I said remove duplicates and uh, said okay. But you see what happened? It actually start, it mixed things up. So that 101 got removed, but not the entire record. I wanted that 101 Amit to get removed, but what got removed is 101 and 102, 103 got shifted up. This has messed up the data. So I built this and I sent it to my manager and uh, he was furious that uh, how could you do this simple mistake? But you know, all of us can commit mistakes and I am also a human. So what is the right way to, of doing this? Maybe you can select this, that's fine. You can say uh, remove duplicates, but choose expand the selection. Read this, it's important because it is clearly saying that data will not be removed. And then I click on remove duplicates and it say if it if it has to get removed, the entire record will get removed, right? So this is the right outcome. That's one. Or what you do is that select the entire data set because that's what we want. We want to get the entire record removed. And then we say remove duplicates. You see that message did not come because you have selected the entire record, basically all the columns. And then I can simply say, okay, this gets removed, right? So simple issues, but that can lead to larger problems. And uh, yeah, I hope this helped uh, you learn something today. Thank you.